So I recently had, you know, a friend of me reveal herself, and I'm sure she's watching this as she should be, because <laughs> you know it's about you, sis. Hi you all, I am Simone C. Welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back. I know, I know, I know, I know what you are thinking. Simone, where have you been? Well, I'm here to talk about it, you all. Today is a chit chat, get ready with me video, and a life update. So we'll be talking about what I've been going through lately, divorce, health, frenemies, fake friends, no job, YouTube troubles, like so on and so forth, you all, my spirituality. So let's jump into it. It's been some time. I got a lot of explaining to do, a lot of apologies to you all, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Today is not a tutorial, it's just a, you know, chit chat, get ready with me. Um, all the products that I use will be listed down below in the description box, but I won't be going through each of them. My goodness, so where do we begin? Mm, where do we begin? It's a lot, baby. It's a lot to get into it, to be honest. I might have to save, like, specifics and, like, real story time for story time <laughs> and just give you all the gist right now and, like, you know, an overview of what's going on. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So, yes, you all, I don't know which one to start with. Oh my goodness, it's just a lot. But let's just say that things have been rough on this end. I'm sure you all can tell, like, you know, the inconsistencies on my channel and um, redirection, if you will. And this is the time, this is the season. This is the new Simone. It's the new me. It's time for me. So, um, you know, I had a friend recently tell me, you know, it's time to be selfish, you know, like, Take this time to focus on you, you only, and be selfish for once. And I totally love the idea of that. I love the tone of that, how everything sounds, because it is time to pour into me now, especially like coming from a cancer woman. You know how we are emotional, very loving, very nurturing. It's time for me, okay? So, <laughs> and that's in all areas, okay, baby? So I'm first going to discuss my bag. How about that? Yeah, let's discuss my bag first. So... My bag has been depleted <laughs> for about six months now. I stopped working back in September. I resigned from my job. So my full time, nine to five, if you will, I did resign. They were beyond the R word that affects, you know, this right here, skin color, all right? Um, very discriminatory, so much things beyond belief because I am what I am and who I am and, um, also, you get a lot of like judgment in the work zone when you're young, right? So not only am I not the standard when it comes to race and ethnicity, but I'm also treated differently because I am younger amongst the crew. So that is that, you all. When it's time, it's time. That's it. Like there's, <laughs> there's really no other way to put it. When it is time, it is time. My soul and spirit was not resonating with that job anymore. All the things that they were putting me through. And like I said, I'm going to say specifics and story time, but just know that they put your girl through some things, all right? And I don't think anybody would really stay. At what point do you say enough is enough and you take the stance on what's right instead, you know? Money comes and goes, so believe me, like, I was always one of those people who advocated for stay at your job until you could do better and find better, right? That was always me. Um, never leave a job until you have another one lined up, basically, until you have that offer letter, another job offer. But, girl, let me tell you some things has happened to me over the years where um, all that stuff went out the window in 2019 after losing my brother. So I'm just not on the time for, like, anything pretty much anymore. Like, uh -uh. people come and go. Money comes and go. Jobs also will come and go. All right? So just know when it's time. You'll, you'll know. Trust me, you'll know in your spirit when it's time to go. I've had friends who had uh, medical conditions and their job let them go. I've had people who did all the overtime in the world, stayed late for their company all the time, and their job still let them go. So what does that, what does that go to show? What does that go to tell you, right? That a lot of these companies ain't ish. That's just the reality. A lot of these companies ain't ish, and they will replace you in a heartbeat, sweetheart. So... I suggest you do the same, but yeah, like I said, my bag has been depleted for the past six months, not working, having no income coming in. Thank goodness to the support of my family. Special shout out and thanks to Mom Dukes. Ooh, baby, she's she's the real one, okay? Without her all this time, I don't know what I would do. Like, seriously? So, Mom, if you're watching this, I love you, and I want to say thank you for all of your support and love all the time, whether I was working or not. 
thank you. But um, yeah, we're not gonna get emotional right now. <laughs> it's not the time for that. A couple of months ago, back in the spring, so if you wanna go back on my channel, a couple of videos, I did a vlog taking you guys to work with me and showing you guys what, all what I do when it involves um, medication as like a RX healthcare regulator. So if you wanna see what I did before quitting that job, go ahead, go back to that video, take a look at that, just so you have an idea, but yeah, you all, let's talk about YouTube now, how I transitioned into YouTube from that job. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you all know that almost every video, if not every other video, is sponsored. The majority of them are hair companies. It is what it is. And um, I made a good, decent side hustle living, if you will, with, you know, my sponsorships and um, whatnot. So when my job was giving me problems and I made the decision to quit, I was like, you know what, all right, I'm just going to do YouTube full-time now and, you know, basically double the income. So instead of part-time, go full-time and, you know, I should be good to make what I was making at my job, right? Just about. But there's one thing I don't play about and that about is me. I don't play about me, all right, and my worth and my acceptance. These companies, the majority of them is overseas, if you could just imagine who I'm talking about. But a lot of these companies do not want to pay black creators their worth and what they deserve. My specific problem was not really that. It was, I'm not going to go back on what I've been getting paid. Like, we're not going to do that. You're not going to cut my salary in half. And that's for anybody in any job. Ask anybody, yourself included. Ask yourself. Let's start with yourself, right? You don't need to ask your family or your friend. Let's ask yourself. If you are getting paid, I don't know, let's say minimum wage to be fair in the new york city tri-state area which is where i reside right i reside in tri-state area let's say the tri-state area pays minimum wage of 15 dollars an hour at this specific job that i'm talking about right this example let's say all of a sudden now your employer you come in the next day they bring you to the office right or they send you an email or a letter and say someone we want to pay you half that now i'm so sorry but unfortunately your previous pay rate all this time was fifteen dollars an hour, and now we're gonna go down to seven fifty. Are you crazy? Like, do you hear how that sounds? Is that absolutely absurd? Okay, like, just so ridiculous to me. Like, the audacity is so real, right? So that's basically what was happening on YouTube. You know, in a nutshell, I was gonna pay another example. Let's say a thousand dollars per sponsorship per video. Imagine doing that with all these companies, X, Y, and Z, for over a year or two. And then one day, and the timing is just divine, right? Like, as soon as I quit my job, like, next week, they're telling me, instead of this $1,000 per video, Simone, we're going to have to drop you down to 500 I mean, isn't that just absolutely ridiculous? Like, who's going to work for half of what they already have established? You know what I'm saying? It's not like we came to the table and said, this is your pay rate. This is your, your rate for this video and you accepted this. But if anything, in life, you get a raise, right? As you get more followers, as you get more subscribers, as you put more time into something, whether it's YouTube or even your nine to five, your job or whatever have you, your, your rate usually goes up after time, right? You usually get an increase. So that's the same way I look at YouTube. Like we're not gonna play those games <laughs> and influencing. My rate should be going up, not going down. And the, the audacity for it to be cut in half is ridiculous. I don't care if I was getting paid $50 per video. The fact that you're not gonna like disrespect me and tell me now that we're going down to $25 per video is just, it's ridiculous. So I'm just using, you know, extreme numbers just to give you all an idea here and to like, let's just talk about the situation at hand. Nobody in this world is gonna go back to work today, tomorrow, next week, next month, and their employees gonna tell them we're gonna drop you down to half of your, of, of your agreement drop you down to half of your agreement, nobody is gonna do that. <laughs> All right, honey, no one. I was put through the ring, okay? Oh my goodness, you know, I started to fret, like, did I quit my job at the wrong time? And then, you know, I had to talk to a couple people and myself and like, you know what? Remember that you are the prize <laughs> and that you were gonna quit that job regardless, honey. Regardless of what sponsorships you had laid out and what you had forecasted in your mind, you were gonna leave that dead end job anyway. And that's what it came down to. So once I put that in my mind, like after the first week or two, out of being out of work, I was just on some really like, like I do not give a ish mode, <laughs> like at all. I was just fine, sweetheart, just fine. And I'm still just fine in that area at least. <laughs> 
so yeah you all that is pretty much the updates with you know my youtube channel and work um it is just crazy like i said six whole months at this point it doesn't even feel like it i talk to my mom all the time she's like oh my goodness it's been that long or some of my friends um time flies when you're having fun literally and you know let's 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 harp on that part for a, for a minute let's 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 really harp on what i just said time flies when you're having fun right I've mentioned this to a couple of my friends and to, you know, and to my family, to all my loved ones that it is crazy that in my brokest times, if you will, right, that this is the most I've enjoyed my life. Let's, let's say that again, right? I'm not going to get emotional. We're not doing that in this video. Not today. In the time of being jobless and complete incomeless is the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. So what does that go to show and go to tell you about work? It just, I don't know, I feel like it just teaches you a new meaning for life and the importance that happiness is free. Okay? Happiness is free. So, whew, I could go on and on about that. Like, I have been living my life. Those of you that follow me on Instagram stories, baby, follow. Follow and see. Because <laughs> I have been traveling. I have been living my life date nights okay doing weekend ish during the weekdays like it's just it's phenomenal <laughs> a life of ease i pray that on everyone like i really wish that on everyone a life of ease and, and once you have a good support system like it just makes things so much easier you all so much easier so yeah you all to be happy and this blessed without a dollar in my pocket baby baby <laughs> It has been an awakening journey for me to like really like tap into my happiness, you know, and see there's so much more to life than a dollar. So again, thank you to my sponsors, meaning my mom and one other person, my financial sponsors who helped me during this entire journey and this ride. You all know who you are. Thank you. Thank you. I love you both. Um, and yeah, let's get into the next topic. So I'm sure it's a big one you all have been waiting for, which is my divorce um, story or divorce mention, if you will. So yes, you all, for some time now, I have been going through separation from my ex-husband, if you will. So if you all don't know, I got married in 2013, the same year that I had my daughter. So this year makes 10 full years I would have been married. It's now 2023 and things just happen you all. Life happens and it, it comes a time where you choose yourself first and happiness first and your mental health, you know, self-care, all those things. You put that first and as hard as this is and, you know, I don't wish this on anyone. I pray that everyone, you know, relationships and um, marriages work out but sometimes we can't help you all it is what it is right so it was a challenging time for me and it still is if rome wasn't built in one day or my country jamaica wasn't built in one day what makes me think that i'm gonna heal or get over a uh, almost 10 year marriage in one day one month six months like no it's just it's not gonna happen right so that is that you all that is that um i know some of you noticed that i probably don't wear my ring anymore on this channel that is why that is why and it's been a long time coming unfortunately and the thing i've been telling my family and friends lately is i live by this motto or mantra that never say never right because we don't know what the future holds for us and how things play out um but i'm just gonna say never say never so that's it and that's with everything right <laughs> that is with everything and, and i'll just leave that at that um i don't know what my next move is gonna be what the future holds but that is that but all i'm gonna say is never say never because you just never know right but it's been rough it's been very tough i have been closed off sometimes um some days have been better some days have been horrible okay <laughs> like that's just what it is and especially for my baby girl who's also gonna be 10 this year so things are hard for her as well like her adjustment you know it's not just about me it's about her number one too right because she's experiencing a change in the household and with her parents right so that's that's the worst we go through it too as women of course we go through the motions you know but we have to make sure our kids are okay first and try to be strong for them i have my moments i have my days you know and 
that's just that. <laughs> that's really all I can say on that. But just know that your girl has been going through it. It has not been easy. I'm sure you can imagine all the the war, the back and forth. Um, it is not easy, okay? It is not easy. And the duration doesn't really matter. You could be married to somebody or with somebody for six months. It's still going to be hard or six years, right? It's rough. It's rough. <laughs> yeah, you're all. That is another reason why I apologize for my absence, but... You know, I have to heal and I have to get through it, so. And speaking of the divorce, that leads me to my next topic, which is about fake friends, frenemies, okay? <laughs> it is ridiculous how much this process has taught me as well, but man, like, those you think is close to you call you bestie, sis, you know, auntie to your child, all these things, they just, they have it out for you. Like, when people are jealous, they're jealous bro like there's just no coming back from that they're just jealous they envy you and let me tell you something that i heard like envy is so much worse than jealousy because they want your life like they want to be in your skin okay in your shoes <laughs> it's actually pretty scary like i'm laughing to like play it off but it's actually pretty scary so i just been going through this season of discernment and just you know taking people out my life who are not meant to be there um uh-uh it's all about discernment right now you all like that's it we're not gonna deal with you know with the fakes we're just we're not doing that right now simone she's not yeah she's not doing that and let me tell you something so i recently had you know a friend of me reveal herself and i'm sure she's watching this as she should be because <laughs> you know it's about you sis but when i tell you my spirit knew about this chick all along like I knew it. I had mentioned her to people several times throughout the months and years of us being friends and it is just crazy to me how like people eventually reveal themselves like girl if it feels wrong it is wrong okay let me just let me just let, let, let's just say that all right like if it feels wrong in your spirit it is wrong okay so shorty like I said crazy but I'm just so happy that she's out of my life now like I could just heal from that as well and move forward it is just crazy like just crazy to me and this is very recent i'm talking about like last week this week type of vibes <laughs> crazy but also story time because i'm gonna talk about it i don't care she can't make these lips close i'm gonna talk about it so story time coming and actually i think that's gonna be like the first story time because it's so recent like fresh like let's get it out there let's get it out there because what we're not gonna do is play about me another situation about playing about me that's what we're not gonna do is play about me and one thing I can say for sure, and I've been saying this to myself for the past few weeks, but if a friendship ends that involves me, it is their fault. <laughs> let's just let's just let's just put put it out there. It is always gonna be their fault, okay? Because I'm not saying like I'm the best friend and all this kind of stuff, but like let me tell you something. If a friendship ends that involves Simone C, okay, <laughs> it is nine times out of ten their fault. Like. 100% wholeheartedly their fault like I can confidently say that with my chest okay like I'm a great person I am not mixy I'm not in drama friendships with me do not end like that it's not easy to end and if I'm wrong I admit I'm wrong okay like so if you see me and homegirl stop speaking or you see that me and homegirl is not on vibes anymore just know always know it is her fault because I don't fall out with friends like all of my friends are well over a decade old I don't fall out like it's it's them like they have the issue and I can say that with my chest <laughs> I promise you so this story I cannot wait to get into the tea with you all you all look out for that next week tea time tea time so my mom used to always say to me Simone you know it doesn't look good that you don't always have like keep girlfriends like when I was younger teenager in high school I had majority male friends okay and this is the reason why because bro if you are jealous of me you have a problem you are in competition with me why seek out to be my friend and that's the weird vibes like why seek out to be close to me like darling i don't get it it's it's giving very psychotic like obsessed with me vibes like it is <laughs> like honey bun seriously like you're, you're really giving obsessed okay like you're, you're really giving obsessed so again we'll talk about that but just know like you all, I used to hear about fake friends, man, it's real. And I've been going through this a long time. Even some friends that still, you know, I consider friends, still in my friend circle, some of them are still fake. 
a lot of them are still jealous. <laughs> a lot of them are still in competition with me because why? Why? I don't get it. So far we've been talking about job, YouTube, my hobby, divorce, fake friends, frenemies. Now let's talk about um, health and mental health, which is probably going to be like the really last topic that I touch on for today. That's a big one, right? Because if you are not okay health-wise, overall your well-being, you cannot be okay for nothing else that surrounds you and no one else in your life. So a friend once told me like, if I am of no substance to myself and of nothing to myself, I cannot be of substance for my daughter and of substance for my man, for my friends, for my, my mom, for my family, right? So it starts with me. It starts with my health and my well-being. So once I realized that and started putting that first, then everything else seemed to like flow and fall into place. You know what I mean? I've been dealing with um, anxiety for over a year now. It's been a rocky, rough journey, you all, and I don't wish it on nobody. It was a time where I didn't even know what anxiety was, right? Like it was just so foreign to me. I never heard of it. I was just like living life like at speed, like just being flewed out, flewed out, okay? <laughs> To, to countries and states and just on the run living my life, working, going to school, like nobody could tell me nothing. I was just living, right? And when I said that that anxiety attack had me very humbled, life-changing you all, like life-changing to the point where now there's just certain things I just don't do anymore. And again, let's touch back on that never say never, right? Especially with what I'm about to get into. I don't drink anymore, you all, at all. No form of alcohol. I don't smoke anymore at all. No form of type of tobacco, um, cigarettes, cigar, weed, hookah. I was hookah mommy queen. All right, puff, puff out the nostrils, bull type-ish. You feel me? Like, <laughs> I am just not her anymore. And... I just don't do that stuff anymore, you all. And it's no shade to people who do, please. Everyone needs advice in this lifetime, right? Whatever hobby, everyone needs a release, okay? And to all of my friends, I always tell them, go ahead, do you. We go out to eat. I'm not going to stop their enjoyment because I don't do something anymore. But just know that Simone's not doing it anymore. And, and that's for right now. Like I said, never say never. But the journey has been very um, awakening. And just uh, the ability to say no is so powerful. Like, you know, like... You think in your head, like, I need this, especially in a social setting, right? You're going out to eat and drink with your friends, and you feel like you need to smoke with them like you used to. I need to have this drink with them to loosen up. I don't need nothing. Water is my savior. <laughs> All right? Like, water is my savior right now, and I, I live by that. I had a friend come to my house recently, and they were... um and they were like, oh my god, and shocked that my refrigerator has no type of soda, drinks, nothing, just water. And seltzer water. Like, I've made a full change and I'm so proud of this journey, how far I've come. Taking my vitamins, whew, going plant-based and vegan, like, it has been amazing. Like, so my health is number one right now. That's my priority before anything, before any friend, any man. Any family, even before my daughter, right? Because I have to be healthy to take care of her. So health is number one, baby. Number one. <laughs> and speaking of health, let's also talk about how, you know, focusing on my health has now tapped into my spirituality journey. So just going through things sometimes and when things seem to be turning for the worse more than it is turning for a positive or the good, you start to not believe, right? And I, I saw myself getting into that into this deep like no end spiral with me and not wanting to believe in certain things and just going to like a really dark place you all and I'm so happy to be out of that now <laughs> like really climbing out of that now and just believing understand sometimes that things happen for a reason no one is out to you know attack you and get at you specifically it's just life and life be life in another one of my favorite sayings and I'm just tapping into that right it has really been helping with like I said my anxiety and my health because like I just feel so positive and uplifted every day you know just taking in the simple sunlight behind you guys that you can't see is just so oh you know rewarding and <laughs> breathtaking like it's a beautiful thing and once you find that, once you find that level of peace, baby, no one can speak to you. Even with um, me doing yoga and stuff like that, oh my God, it's so like, 
spiritual awakening within me like it's just darling you see how much i love this blush right it is just like so impactful and i'm so here for it and it's only the beginning like this is just the beginning and i'm so here for it like wow where have i been you know so yeah you all this has just been you know my life update you know my self-discovery this journey has been like incredible I love to describe things as a roller coaster. That's like my favorite word because you literally have your ups and downs. And I realized that this is life, <laughs> right? When 2019 hit for me and I went through, you know, my family tragedies, man, I'm going to laugh today and cry tomorrow. As much as we as humans don't want to admit that, that's just the reality. And but it's all about being pure, pure intentions, a pure heart, and enjoying our time while we're here. And, you know, making... You know great decisions that's going to affect us and you know mindful of how it affects our loved ones that surround us so yeah you all <laughs> i hope this video wasn't too long and too much of a mouthful um sometimes i sit back and just be like wow like i can't believe the shit that i'm going through like seriously i would have never thought in a million years that i would be going through what i go through but <sighs> it's happening it's real <laughs> it is real okay so I hope, you know, that this video answers a lot of your questions and wonders as to where I've been and what's going on in my life right now. This is it, you all. This is real. Like, this is literally it. Um, that's everything in a nutshell, what I have been going through. But we're here and we're standing strong. We're going to continue this journey called Life Together. Baby girl, I'm here to stay and this channel is here to stay. I started for a reason and we're going to upkeep it so yeah <laughs> and you all are gonna be my virtual best friends and we're gonna get through this together the next step of this journey is therapy healing continuing I hope and pray that you all are doing well and you know <sighs> sending you my best wishes my regards my love um, and that you know we stay in this together you know pray for me keep me in your prayers you all I'll do the same and I'll pray that you all are doing well so yeah you all just be gentle with yourselves you know put you first self care baby all the way like I'm such an advocate for that now like mm -mm, I don't play about me and don't play about you either okay <laughs> if something isn't serving you honey if your soul is not resonating with it it's for a reason all right so just Think about that stuff, be mindful. Most of the time your instincts are not wrong to all, so just, you know, listen to your body, listen to your heart, go with what feels right, because nine times out of 10, it is right. <laughs> so allow yourself to feel and allow yourself to hear, you know? Pray, you know, meditate, all these good things, you all. Realign, refocus, I promise you. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do, you know, a ponytail, like a low one like this one. Been loving this look lately, especially with me going, you know, on interviews and stuff like that. Or I don't know if I should just, like, leave it as is how it's been the entire video. But yes, you all, I hope you all enjoyed today's chit-chat, get ready with me, life update. Um, it was time. You all deserve to know what has been going on with me and where I've been and where I'm going. So... <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it as I draw in my beauty marks. <laughs> I have a lot of different content planned, you all. Spring trying hauls. I have a bunch of clothes over there, you all. Um, more makeup tutorials, more get ready with me, a lot more chit chats because like I want to be more expressive now on my channel. I want to talk about things like I'm not going to leave it inside to build up anymore. This is what I have my platform for. So we're going to take advantage of it. Yes, yes, yes. And as always, please do not forget to like this video, subscribe, comment down below, let's get a conversation going as always, share this video with your friends and family, and you all, I will see you in the next one. Bye!